Hi there. In this part I am going to show you section and elevation too. Section tool is located under this document head menu. To make a section you just click the section button and click on the screen. Click a second time while pressing the sheet button for a straight line. You can change the section ID and name from here. Once you put a section line, a section view will be created right here. We can open this section view by double clicking on it. Most of the objects can be changed in the section view in ARCHICAD. For example, you can change the stair height and elevation. Section length can also be changed with this line. I click this line and drag the position I want. Just be careful, the ending point of the selection line will also be changed in the floor plan. Or the changing in the floor plan will also change the section view. Let's copy this section line with ALT click then create a new one from other direction. Second section view was created on the first one. Let's right click this section view and click the section settings. This part shows the more detail about the section. Most of the changes can be done here. For example, you don't want to see an object in front of the section line. You can just change this range settings. I'm gonna select limited. As you can see, some parts of the stairs are now invisible. You can change the limit with this line. As you can see here, we can see the building from ground floor to top end. You can add limitation here with vertical range in the settings menu. To make this, we are going to click this limited button. Let's input here 4 meters. As you can see, we cannot see upper side of the section or down side. There is an editing line that we can use for editing to change the limitation range at the top and at the bottom. The changing also visible here with numbers. You can also change the marker size and pen type or without marker. If you click marker symbol and text, you can change the symbol of the marker and select one of these. The size of the marker can be changed by this box and pen number. Every pen has its own thickness in ARCHICAD. I am going to make a tutorial how to change pen thickness and save them as a profile. One of the most important part is here. Model display options. The settings for the presentation is located here like the thickness of cut line or surface color for cut elements. For example, we can make all cut elements a same surface. Once we did that, we are going to see like this. Let's make them on surface color this time. Now we can see all different elements separately.
Let's try another sample with different pen type. For cut surface, I choose paint ivory black. For the cut line, I choose 177. Once I did that, I'm going to see a section like this. You have seen how to change cut surface settings. Let's look at how to change uncut surface pen and color. We are going to use these options for do that. I'm going to leave this with uniform pen color. And I'm gonna change here for the color. Nothing changed, because this section doesn't see the back wall, we set the visibility range for limited. It's enough that to change the changing limit this time, I'm going to go to settings and change the horizontal range to infinite. Then I click OK. As you can see uncut surface pen was already changed. Let's go to settings again. If you don't want to see behind the windows and doors, or if you had a brick surface and you want a pattern in the view, you need to use this transparency option and vectoral 3D hatching options. We have also got an option here that we can make invisible the story level lines. Now we have a cleaner view than before. I want to show you a few more settings for the sections. Let's go to floor plan. Once I click this section line, an editing box will be appeared. I can add extra segments and depth for the sections now. Once I add here extra point, I can change this section line's place for special situations. Even more than one segment. These sections won't cut this stair now. I'm just right click the section and select the open with current view. Once I did that, I can reach this section view and my multi depth section line view. Let's move on the elevation tool now. The elevation tool is located same place under the section tool. It can be placed same as the section tool, but this one has one arrow. I want to see inside the building, so I'm just gonna select this wall and press delete. I'm going to do this for the all stories. After doing that, I right click the elevation and click the open width. We are facing something similar to the section tool. We have the same options like this view limiting. Only different thing is this tool has its own group right here. Horizontal range limiting is here. Vertical range limiting is here. Let's input 6 meters here. Once I did that, I see this top ending line and bottom ending line. Let's type into the settings window. As you can see, we have the same settings. Therefore, I wanted to show this tool with section tutorial. Although the settings are the same, we will use these settings more than section tool. Because in the projects and competitions, architects fall much more on the presentation of the building facades. So I think that you will spend more time here. Elevation tool can also cut anything intersect with. I'm going to extend these walls.
I can make these walls looking same with uncut ones. I'm just going to select uniform surface for the cut surface bit. And assign an air material for that. Once I did that, I'm going to see a view like this. Let's add windows on the walls. And doors. Right click this elevation and click open with. At the default settings, you are going to see a view like this. I take your attention for the transparent windows. From the settings menu, I am going to make them non-transparent. And I want to copy them to upper walls. To achieve that, I am going to select them and press Ctrl plus U. I am going to see this multiply window. I am gonna check this box and click OK. I am gonna click any starting point and end point. For example, 300 cm. You can change your height and size of any object, array them to other levels or delete in the elevations. Okay, that's all for it now. See you at the next tutorials.